to Vlogmas. Today is Vlogmas Day 7 and I decided to do a grocery haul. So these are my essentials from Aldi and Walmart that I get weekly, if not every other week. I'm always doing hauls, beauty hauls, makeup hauls, random hauls, and I'm like, let me do a grocery haul because this stuff is actually essential. So we go to Aldi and Walmart for the majority of our groceries. Sometimes we do go to Giant, which is our local food store. It's like a Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. It's a regular grocery store, but they do have an organic section with a ton of vegan and vegetarian options. So we like it for that, but honestly it is very expensive. So we don't get a ton of stuff from there as much as we used to because we found that you can find a lot of really great vegan options nowadays at Walmart, Aldi, Target. So we really only go there for like a couple odds and ends or like snacks, junk food to be honest because I'm a big snacker. I would be able to lose so much more weight if I didn't snack so much like sometimes it's a problem but anyways um yeah these are my aldi and walmart essentials so i hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the grocery haul first things first let's start with aldi so i did get a big roll of toilet paper this is actually only ten dollars there i feel like it's so much cheaper to get there versus walmart so i always stock up i also did get paper towels they normally have the big paper towels i think for like eight or ten bucks but they didn't have them this time so i just went with the two packs something else that i always get from aldi is almond milk this is my favorite it's just the unsweetened original i actually Actually got two of these because they're under two dollars which is like insane almond milk is my favorite even Hector's too like I've tried soy milk I do like it but I like it more when I'm baking or like in ice cream versus like daily meals I feel like almond milk is ideal I tried oat milk I tried to love it I can't get into it something about the consistency of it it's just um, it's not my vibe but almond milk is the superior milk in my opinion it's my favorite next up I did get a ton of fruits and veggies I always get my fruits and veggies from Aldi because like I said it is the cheapest and I feel like everything is always like really really good so I got some broccoli here so I can get some more greens in this was oh it actually has a price on here this was two dollars and then I also did get a little three pack of these peppers I love cooking with peppers they're so good I also got some fresh strawberries these look really good I've been having really good luck with strawberries at Aldi I got some frozen pineapple so I want to start getting back into my green smoothies and the base of green smoothies at least the ones that I make is frozen pineapple you need frozen pineapple if not it's not going to taste good fridge this also makes for a really great snack too like i love frozen fruit frozen grapes are delicious frozen pineapple is my favorite i also did get some oranges oranges are so good then i got this big old container of grapes so i normally always get like just the regular grapes like green or red grapes i've been really loving green grapes they're so good i love them when they're big and crunchy but they didn't look that great when i went so i just got this little trio with Red grapes, green grapes, and black grapes, and this was $6. But normally, if you try to get something like this like anywhere else, they obviously weigh it by the pound. It's so expensive. Like I've tried to buy like cotton candy grapes before at like a regular grocery store, and not even kidding, the one time it was like $15 for a bag of grapes, and I put them back because I'm like, I am not spending that much money on grapes. So the fact that this was like flat, like $6, I thought that was a really good deal, and you get so many grapes, and this is heavy. Like this is like two pounds of grapes, so. Wait, it says the weight on here three pounds of grapes yeah this is a really good deal so i'm excited about my grapes i got some apples honey crisp apples are my favorite they're just so crispy and so sweet then i got my golden potatoes i use potatoes all the time pretty much every single week for everything you can do so much with potatoes i feel like potatoes are the superior vegetable to all like you can do everything with these you can make soup you could do fries you could put them in the air fryer, you could put them in the oven, you can mash them. Yeah, these are the best. I always also get my spinach from Aldi because it's like, sometimes it's a dollar. This time it was like a dollar fifty, but it's always under two dollars, which is great. So I love incorporating spinach in soups, smoothies. I also did get some creamy peanut butter. So I'm not the biggest peanut butter person. Hector loves peanut butter. Like I feel like he could eat it out of the jar. That's not me. I have to be in the mood for peanut butter, but I do like it sometimes with like toast and like bananas and stuff. So I just saw this one and I was like, mm, let me try it. It was only three dollars. It's the Simply Nature Organic Creamy Peanut Butter and it says it's unsweetened and gluten free. So what I liked about this is that there isn't really anything added to it. So this one I liked because it only has organic peanuts and sea salt for the ingredients. I also did just get some spray olive oil. I always get this from there. This is what I like to cook with. I got more fruit here. Bananas, of course. I got some green ones, some yellow ones. These are always, always a good idea, whether it's for toast, oatmeal, or 
banana bread. I also did get some baby carrots. I have been on a carrot and hummus kick. I've been loving carrots with hummus. It's just so good. So these were only 89 cents. Then I got these chopped salad kits. These are really good like alone, like with your own dressing or whatever, because they do come with a dressing, but I don't ever use it. But you could obviously incorporate these in your own salads or you could put them on top of rice with veggies, which is what I like to do. And it's so good. So this is a new one for me. I haven't tried the sweet kale chopped salad kit, but it looked really good. Looks like it has some good veggies in it. Green cabbage, green leaf lettuce, kale, red cabbage, carrots, and red onion. And then this is my favorite one, the Asian chopped salad kit. This is delicious. You could honestly even top this on top of a burger or something, or like if you make wraps, I feel like you could do a lot with these. And I can get two salads or two bowls out of each bag, so four total. I also did get these bagel skinnies. These are great with cream cheese or butter for breakfast in the morning, and they're only 110 calories per bagel. I also did get this organic sprouted ancient greens bread. So it's kind of like, I guess, the Dave's Killer Bread like dupe. 80 calories per slice. It looks like there's good ingredients in here too. There's only a couple which I really like. There's not like a ton of added stuff in here. Good for sandwiches or in the morning for like toast or whatever. And then I got some seasonings. Oh, I forgot. Avocados. How could I forget these? So avocados were only 59 cents at Aldi. They're normally 89 cents, sometimes even a dollar. So I thought that was a really good deal. So I got four of these. Then I got some seasonings. So I just got some traditional onion powder. I love onion and garlic powder to cook with. It's so good. And then I got these little stone mill seasonings. So this one is garlic and herb. These are salt free seasonings. So I like stuff like this because it adds good flavor to your food, but you don't have all that extra added salt. So I like the garlic and herb and I also like the original. So these are basically like the Mrs. Dash like dupes. They're really good. I feel like they taste just as good. So I like these a lot. And then I love this everything bagel seasoning. This is so good with avocado toast in the morning, or really you can put this on anything and it's delicious. So I got some tomatoes for my burgers. I also got some mini cucumbers for green smoothies. I like the mini ones because I feel like they're so much easier to snack on and then just to throw in a smoothie. It's so much better versus having like the big cucumbers. I also did get some dish soap. This is the Radiance Antibacterial Soap. And this is kind of like a Dawn dish soap dupe, but I really like this for dishes, but I also really like it to clean my makeup brushes because it's antibacterial. It works really well. It doesn't irritate my skin or anything. So I really like this. And then I also got the heavy duty scrub, just a little three pack. I like to switch these out. So I just got these and that's pretty much it from Aldi now. Let's do Walmart. Got my hummus. So this is just the classic hummus. I really like the garlic one. I just hate the taste that it leaves in my mouth. So I always just get the original, the big family size. I also did get my butter. Well, technically it's not butter. It's the, I can't believe it's not butter, the vegan one. Even when I wasn't vegan, this was the only butter that I really enjoyed that I felt was so good and I could literally eat it out of the tub because that's how good it was. So I also wanted to mention our creamer. So I really like the silk almond milk creamer. You guys know I don't really drink coffee all that often, but whenever I do, I prefer vanilla creamer. So they actually have this one at Walmart. It's like $4 and it's really, really good. So we're usually drinking either this creamer or I'll show you the other one we like. We also really like this one. I feel like they both taste the same. This one's a little bit sweeter, but that one is really good. This one you can't get at Walmart. You can only get like the small ones there. I don't know why, but we usually get this at Giant. So we also got some yogurt. So I love the silk almond milk yogurt. The strawberry is my favorite. And then they also have this one. This is made with soy. We like to alternate between the ones that we get, but these are delicious, very creamy. Love these for breakfast or as a snack. So I got some vegetable broth. I always like to just get the low sodium one. So I'm actually making soup tonight. So so this is what I use as the obviously the broth, the base. And I also saw this vegan protein broth and I thought this looked really good. I've never tried this before, never even seen it, but it says it's a creamy legume and vegetable broth and it's apparently a good source of protein. Nine grams of plant paste, plant paste, plant based. So that looked really good. And then I also just got one of these coconut milk, just the unsweetened. I really like this with curry. Curry poured over white rice, delicious. That's like the base for like the curry sauce. I got some frozen veggies. I'm gonna use these tonight for soups. These are actually my favorite. You get carrots, corn, green beans, peas, and lima beans. Um, but this is what it looks like. Oh, rice is done. I also did get just a four pack of corn. So corn is my favorite. I feel like you can do a lot of things with corn too. I love it in mashed potato bowls, taco bowls. I also really like it whenever I do quesadillas. We also always like to get these plant-based deli slices. These are really great with sandwiches. If you ever just want a quick and easy lunch, these are delicious. And I love how you can get them at Walmart now. This is the brand Tofurky. For five slices, it's only 100 calories, which I think is pretty good. I normally do two to three slices, so a little less than 100 calories. So I really like these a lot. I also love the chow cheese. This is the best vegan cheese ever. It actually tastes like real 
American cheese slices. So this is from the brand Field Roast. It's a little bit expensive, I will say. Even at Walmart, I think it's like $5.50, which I think is a lot for a couple slices of cheese. But it's delicious. It melts. So if you want to put it in your eggs or a burger or whatever, like it's very, very good cheese. The last and final thing that we got is just maple syrup. I love maple syrup with pancakes, waffles. I have tried the sugar-free syrups, the lower-calorie syrups. I can't get into it, you guys. I think they're disgusting, and every time I have sugar-free syrup, it makes me want to vomit. Like, I just feel like it's so gross. So I just stick to maple syrup because it's good, and obviously it's just maple syrup. That's the only ingredient. This is actually the last thing that I got is just ketchup. This is just regular, simply no artificial sweeteners ketchup. This was the closest thing I could find to sugar-free ketchup, which is the only ketchup that we like. I can taste the difference now, I guess, because I'm so used to the sugar-free ketchup. I can taste when it doesn't have salt in it or when it's regular ketchup. I feel like it's very sour. So I just got this one because I didn't have sugar free it's just regular ketchup so that is it for this grocery haul i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any other must-haves from aldi from walmart that are healthy not healthy whatever it is leave it down below in the comments thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you have not already i will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day eight bye